Happy anniversary to Michael Jordan and his very first NBA game 40 years ago on October 26th. Happy hobby. I'm David Gonis. If you're a sports car collector, you know, this is, that's what we do. This is what it's all about. DavidGonis.com, David Gonis, the YouTube channel, the Happy Hobby Sports Cards podcast on Apple or Spotify, or the Happy Hobby Sports Cards newsletter at Gonis.substack.com. Today, we're talking about Michael Jordan, this guy right here. This guy, he's the GOAT, the all-time best. Listen, LeBron, guys, today is not the day to discuss who's who is the all-time greatest. To be honest with you, I think LeBron might be third behind Bill Russell and Michael Jordan, but that's a conversation for another time. It's all about Michael Jordan today, 40 years ago. From this Saturday, October 26th, Michael Jordan played in his very first game against the Washington Bullets. He scored 16 points. Guy had six rebounds, seven assists. He was the third leading scorer on his own team. It was a win, and he also got four block shots, and two steals in that game, just setting us up for what was sure to be an amazing defensive uh, career, much less offensive, but from a defensive perspective, there's really very few that have been like him to be able to do on uh, both sides. Six-time NBA champion, six-time NBA uh, finals MVP, pretty good. He's a five-time MVP, regular season NBA MVP, 14-time NBA All-Star, Three-time NBA All-Star MVP, 10-time All-NBA First Team, NBA Defensive Player of the Year, nine-time nine NBA All-Defense, uh, All-Defensive First Team Player, Rookie of the Year. Guy's done it all. There's a reason why he is the most collectible basketball player in the history of basketball cards. Now, sure, there are some more, well, there are some more valuable, more rare cards. But as far as Jordan, as far as card base cards, Jordan's base cards throughout his career, through the junk wax era, his cards are the most valuable. So today I thought, well, let me, let's go through some of his cards. I'm going to go through all of my favorite, not every card that I have, because some are, they're just super duper base cards that they're not interesting at all. But I want to go through the interesting ones to share with you. These are my favorite. These are my favorite Jordan cards I thought we could... Uh, go through them, talk about them a little bit, and uh, you could give me your takes in the comments. I want to hear about your favorite Jordan cards or which ones you own that you think are a little special. I want to hear about it. So let's get into this. Let's look at some Michael Jordan NBA cards. All right, so something I forgot to mention is we're doing a giveaway. I'm giving away this card right here, this uh, SGC9. This is a uh, 9293 Topps Archives Michael Jordan card. Now, this came out. In 92 93, but it's as if this was his rookie card from 1984 Tops. So, 92 93 Tops Archives did a series called The Rookies, and it was all of their basketball cards from the previous 10 years that would have been made if they were doing basketball cards. They didn't get basketball again until 92, the, the NBA license. So, they went back and did 10 years of rookie cards for all the awesome players from that time period. So this would have been Jordan's rookie card, in other words, which is awesome. The 84 design is fantastic. So what do you got to do to get this? Well, first you got to like, you, you got to like the video. You got to subscribe to my channel and you got to make sure you comment on this video and do a hashtag of let's do MJ anniversary, hashtag MJ anniversary in the comment. You want to make sure you put that in the comment and you'll be eligible. We'll do the drawing. The deadline we'll do at the end of November and uh, someone's going to win this and I'll ship it to them. Now, you do have to be within the U.S. because I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to ship this to uh, internationally, but in the U.S. I will ship this to you. So uh, make sure you do that. Subscribe, like, comment, hashtag MJ anniversary. All right, let's look at some cards. By the way, this is one of my favorite cards. This is one of my awesome now. I just, it's a great looking card. It's just a fun card. <clears throat> okay. So my first regular old card is this uh, Team MVP from 92-93 Upper Deck. I love color pop out. I don't know why card companies don't do these more. It's just a cool looking card. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's a sweet card. 
It's a, it was an insert, and they did these for all of the different team MVPs. I just always like that. And then this one is the 93 Jordan Members Choice Upper Deck, or I'm sorry, Top Stadium Club uh, Members Choice. Which is a nice looking card. And then, of course, this one is his um, from the minor league, from Upper Deck's minor league baseball set. And it's an MJ insert. Um, but yeah, that comes from their minor league baseball set. I like it. It's not the SP1 from 91, but it's a pretty uh, awesome card. Nonetheless, see Jordan in a baseball uniform. Supreme Court, 92, 93. So this is 93 NBA hoops, 93 or 90. Let's see. It says 93. NBA hoops. This was uh, an insert as well. We were big into inserts during the junk wax era. Why? Because they were more rare. Rarer cards are better cards, right? So to get a cool MJ insert, a white uniform, it's just sweet. This one's also pretty cool for a different reason. So um, in this is the 92-93 set. This is when uh, junk wax was right at its peak and everyone wanted to collect cards. So McDonald's said, let me get in on that action. So they started a deal where if you got, I think, I don't know if it was a Happy Meal or if it was just a combo meal or something like that, you got a pack of cards. And you can see right there, the logo is that McDonald's logo. That's how you know. It says P5. And you're going to see something coming up that's a little different. I'm going to put this card out so we can show you later the difference. But this is a McDonald's giveaway card. It's a beautiful card. Then the old hologram. Of course, we remember these. This is from the 92-93 set. Let's see if I can. But the problem is, is these holograms, they just, they're cool. They're cool. It was cool. It was cool. But they weren't that cool. Like, you can't really, you can't really see them real well. It's a neat idea. Oh, put this away. All right. Then we got this Jordan car. This is another Upper Deck 92-93. Just an awesome photo. Um, like I said, the old number 23, you gotta love those. Like I said, none of these are super rare. It's all a junk wax. I don't have any, like, you know, 96 stone precious gem, any of those guys. I just got the old good stuff. Michael Jordan Tops Stadium Club. This is the 92 one. Duncan over Ewing. You're welcome, Mr. Ewing. Uh, I, I was never a Knicks fan, so I was always happy to see Jordan dunk on them. Another 92, 93. Oh, no, this is 1991. This was the first set from Upper Deck. First basketball set from Upper Deck. Beautiful first card. Number 44. They didn't even do the 23 yet. They're giving them Jim Brown's Syracuse number. Michael Jordan, number uh, 1991. Yeah, 91. <clears throat> Fleer. Fleer was, uh, they were the deal from 86 to late night or early 90s. They were the, they were the big guys. They were the only guys until like NBA hoops and stuff. But, um, I, I never, wasn't a fan, a huge fan of this design. I mean, with this thing going along the side here, but, it's a 1991 card. I mean, God, that's pretty cool. Now, what I was a fan of was this guy right here. The old Sam Vincent card. Now, why is this special? I did a little TikTok video of it. I think I did a short on YouTube as well. You could check it out. But um, because it has Jordan in the front of it. It's Sam Vincent, but it has Jordan in front. It's called a shadow card. And uh, the reason it's really important is because he's wearing a number 12 jersey. Someone stole his jersey. This is the 1980, this is a 1990 card. It's the 1989 game. The Orlando Magic's first season. The Bulls went to Orlando for a game and um, somebody swiped his jersey out of the locker room. So he had to scramble for a jersey and all he could get was a number 12. No name on the back. This is the only card that depicts that game. So it's the only card that has Jordan in a 12 jersey. Very cool. And it's Sam Vincent. So, you know, my magic. That's pretty awesome. Not really. This is probably the more interesting part. All right. Then we got Jordan Skybox. 
1991 Skybox, uh, PSA 10. Love this card. These card, th th this design is, <clears throat> to me, it's very underrated. I think it's such a cool design. And they had such a cool design that I also got this guy with Jordan right there. And his number nine jersey, of course. Now, what's interesting in this picture, tilt it so you can't, don't get light in your face. What's interesting in this picture is two things. First, they weren't bright enough to put Jordan in the middle. I mean, he the whole team was based around Jordan. It was the guys he wanted to play with, basically, or, or at least guys he did not want to play with. The other thing that's cool about this picture is that uh, obviously all these guys together is the, the cool thing. Duh. By the way, you can buy this display at Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, but it's like 10 bucks, I think, maybe. But anyway, 12 bucks, I think. Anyways, the other cool thing about this picture is there's only 10 guys. There was 12 guys on the Dream Team, if you recall. But they did not yet add. These were the early ads. These was, this is the original Dream Team. And then they eventually added Clyde Drexler, who many thought it was supposed to be Isaiah Thomas. And MJ said, mm, no, thank you. And then they also had not yet added the college player, which ended up being Christian Leitner. So, um, and everybody talks about it should have been Shaq. Obviously, in hindsight, Shaq would have been better. But in reality, Christian Leitner was a better college player. And he was a better winner. He, he won big with Krzyzewski. Krzyzewski was a, an assistant coach on the Dream Team. So, come on. Duh. Anyways. So we'll put that aside. So this is the uh, this is that slab. Love that card. It's just cool. It's just cool. All right, then we move. Go back to hoops. Nineteen eighty nine hoops. We had ninety hoops with the Sam Vincent. Nineteen ninety or nineteen eighty nine PSA nine. And we got this one. Now this one was the other one I was talking about. This is an Upper Deck McDonald's ninety two Michael Jordan. Chicago Bulls. Now, what makes this different from this one? See, they're both the same set. When you flip them over, this one's a Chicago 4, and his number here is P5. This is the whole set. This is the entire set with, like, I think there's 50 players in the set. And this was just, I think, a five player set that was sold in the Chicago area only. So, the five card set that came out in Chicago only. Um, me and my buddy had some Orlando ones, so we called up a Chicago card store, and we said, we'll send you some Orlando ones, because we had Shaq, and uh, if you send us uh, some Chicago ones. So we did. That was pretty cool. 1991-92 CSG, which is CGC now, right? Gem Mint 10. I just love this card, Magic versus Jordan. When did you, back then, I mean, to get these two two guys, two giants, Titans, on the same card, the Lakers versus Bulls, NBA Finals Championship, the first Jordan Championship, the last time Magic was in the Finals. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice uh, opportunity to get that commemorated on a card. Now, this one looks familiar. Just kidding. It's a This is a reprint, if you can see right there. Fleer, Decade of Excellence, 86 to 96. So, in 1996, Fleer was bright enough to say, hey, we should, pre we should bring this back because it was pretty popular. Everybody was a big fan of this guy and that card and stuff. So they did. They brought it back 10 years later, and they did, I think it was 10 to 12 cards of uh, from this set they redid. They weren't all the great cards either. It was kind of weird. They picked and choose different guys, but it wasn't, all, it wasn't like Barkley, Olajuwon, Ewing, Malone. It wasn't that. It was Jordan and then a handful of those guys and then some other guys. Anyways. You can get this for 50 bucks, PSA 9. I don't have a Jordan rookie card, so this is my placeholder until I get one again. So until then, this is my uh, 1988 Fleer sticker. Um, this one, when I got it, it had a lot of wax on the back. And it was tough to get the wax off. But if you use a nylon pair of stockings or a piece of nylon, you can get the wax off or do a really good job of it. So we sent this in. I was hoping to get a five on it. It came back a seven. I was very happy with that. And then finally, my best card right now for Michael Jordan 
This is the 92 Stadium Club Michael Jordan Beam Team. Again, I sent this in hoping to get a seven. This was in my wife, my ex-wife, bought this, put it in a picture frame with a, a signed photo, and um, I had it in there for, I don't know, 15 years. And I pulled it out finally, sent it in to get graded, and it's a beautiful card. Came back a nine. But I just love the, it's like got the, like the velocity, the hyper. Um, I don't know why more card companies didn't do this eventually. Uh, they do it nowadays, but it was pretty rare back then. So there you go. What was your favorite card? What's your favorite card that you currently have of Jordan? I want to know. And don't forget, if you want to win this guy, what you got to do. So make sure you do that. Deadline will be the end of November, November 30th. I'll do the drawing and uh, make sure you're, you know, U.S. address and uh, maybe you win this. Got to do what you got to do, though, to make sure you're eligible. Whatever you do, make sure you have a happy MJ anniversary hobby.